Okay, so and welcome to your video tutorial on applying what we have learnt so far in algebra. Okay, an algebraic expression can be used to describe problems relating to many different areas, including costs and speeds and sporting results. Much of modern science relies on the application of algebraic rules and formulas. It's important to be able to convert, however, worded descriptions of problems into mathematical expressions in order to solve things. So, what kind of worded problems are you going to be held to have to solve? Well, let's have a look. The first question says, the perimeter of a rectangle is given by the expression 2L plus 2B, where L is the length and B is the breadth. Find the perimeter of a rectangle if L equals 4 and B equals 7. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is write down my formula. 2L plus 2B. Now I notice that between that 2 and the L and the 2 and the B, there's not an operator that's been specified. I know in an algebraic expression when two things are next to each other, that means multiplication. So if I substitute in here, that's 2L or 2 times L. In this case, I've been told L equals 4. So 2 times 4 plus 2 times, what does B equal? Told me B equals 7. So 2 times 7. I know I do my multiplication first. So sorry, what I've got here is 2 times 4 plus, oh, let's fix that up, 2 times 7. So 8 plus 14. 8 plus 14 becomes 22. Okay, now I've been given my question, okay, as words. I need to give my answer as words. So I need to write something like the perimeter is 22. Okay, usually you're being given that in centimeters or meters, but if I get given it as a word of problem, I give my answer as a word of problem. Okay, the top part of the question is the same. This is now asking me, find the perimeter of a rectangle with the breadth of 8 centimeters and a length of 3 centimeters. Okay, so now it's giving me centimeters. So let's substitute it again. So it's 2L plus 2B, substituting 2 times a length of 3 and a breadth of 8, 6 plus, I'm doing my multiplication first, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 8 is 16, 16 plus 6 becomes 22 centimetres, okay, now I have to give my answer as a word of problem, so the perimeter is, I'd write it fully, 22 centimetres, making sure I finish it off. Now, let's have a look at what else might be required of you. Okay, write expressions for the following. Now, remember, expressions don't have equal signs. We're not trying to solve anything. We're just trying to have a look at it. It says, the total cost of dollars of 10 bottles if each bottle costs X dollars. So, each bottle is X, and I have 10, so it's X times 10. How do I write that? Do I write X times 10? No, no, I know, that's not how I write it. I write it like this. I don't write it like that, okay? I write x 10. Ooh, that looked a bit funny, didn't it? Okay, 10x. That's the total cost in dollars of 10 bottles. What about the next one? The total cost in dollars of hiring a plumber for n hours. Oh. Now, I don't know how many hours it is. I've already been told my unknown. It wants me to call it N. The chummer, the, the chummer, what a silly. The plumber costs $30 a call out fee and $60 an hour. So $60 multiplied by my number of hours plus 30. How would I write that? Well, he works for that many hours and it's $60 depending on the number of hours. So 60N, and then he has a call-out fee as well. Now that call-out fee doesn't change. So 
that's added onto the bill. So 60N plus 30. Okay, now a plumber charges a $60 call out fee, $60 call out fee this time, plus $50 an hour. $50 an hour, and I'll use N again. $60 call out fee and $50 an hour. Use an expression to find out how much an eight hour job would cost. Well, there's my expression. 50 times how many hours? Eight hours plus 60. Okay, six fives are 40. Oh, eight fives are 40, sorry. Eight fives are 40, so I'm just going to move over here, guys. Okay, so 50 times 8 is 400 plus the $60 call out fee. So altogether it would cost me $460. Okay, so that's it guys. That's applying all that we've learnt so far in algebra.